Through an armed struggle, Kenya, Uganda's neighbor in the east, liberated itself from the British colonialists in 1963. Since then, Kenya has experienced tremendous growth socially and economically, and Uganda being Kenya's biggest trade partner was hailed for playing a critical role. I wish to note that the time is now for our business community to focus on interventions that will connect domestic and international market forces that will ultimately determine the geographical constellation of industrialization. We all concede that to attain sustainable development in our two countries, we will have to achieve global production networks for value chain promotions. Gracing over the event, Professor Ibrahim Kamuntu, the Minister for Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, noted that Kenyans and Ugandans are one people. You deserve a clap. This is great. Happy birthday. Ugandans and Kenyans are really one people. We are bound together by history, by geography, and by our culture. We are bound together by our common aspirations for a peaceful, secure, and prosperous future. Government appreciated the trade ties between the two friendly countries. The total trade volume between Kenya and Uganda last financial year was 1.2 billion. Professor Kamontu further recognized the two nations' contribution to economic integration in the East African community and the Northern Corridor Integration Project. Through the Northern Corridor Integration Projects, we have been able to ease the movement of goods and people across our region. We introduced the East African Tourist Visa, and it is working. We have implemented the One Network Area, it is also working. We have a one-stop border post at Malavan, Busia, and we have introduced a single customs territory for both imports and exports. For UBC, Wadulomak and